married? I'm married, yeah. Mm. You've been married for how many years? Um, this year, in March, would be... You don't even know your marriage anniversary? I know, but you normally I add, I add the time we met. Oh, okay. I know, because we, when we met, we, we started living like married people. Oh, you did that? Yeah. As a pastor, you know that you don't have to live before you actually get married officially. Why did you do that? I wasn't a pastor then. <laughs> <laughs>Three children, any of them trying to take after you? There's one who has already been appointed successor. That is how the, the family line is. Whoa. Yeah. Must it always come from your bloodline? I mean, from your line, you specifically, because it could have gone to your sister's children and all of that. No, it doesn't happen. Though. It doesn't my, happen. Though. My father did a whole constitution okay. for the family, so you even know. for the church, okay. and the businesses. So you know who is the next in line? Yeah, now. yeah. The person is already born. It's like the crown prince. Yeah. And that's what your third born or your second born or last one. Your last one. Interesting. The girl wants to be what? The sixteen year old. Um, she now I don't know what she wants to do, but I feel she wants to explore more and find I mean f settle on something that she wants to do. I used to cool with her mother. Yeah, we're cool. And we're who's cool. the mother, if we may ask? Nobody knows her. Nobody knows her. Interesting. Nobody knows that. And your second born's mom is who? Jaden. Yes. Yeah, that's Juliet Ibrahim. Juliet. Ah, so you dated Juliet Ibrahim. Married. You married her. Yeah. And you guys got divorced after yes. how many years? Mm, after I think four years or so. Are you still good friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juliet is my buddy. How's your wife taking it? She's cool. They are cool as well. Are they friends? Yeah, they are cool. I mean, they have a, a, a mutual, respectful relationship. Yeah. Well, that's, that's insightful and good to know. Maybe people watching and they have no, uh, yeah, we're cool. exes we're cool. and stuff who know how the ex can manage with the wife. So with the, with this the is the advice I took from my old man. Mm -hmm. He told me, Kojo, don't ever insult or disrespect anyone, any lady that has ever opened her legs mm. for you before. Mm. So that is, I mean, it's my... You that don't is cross why, that line. No. I mean, during our divorce, we had a few issues, but I never spoke about it. It was deliberate because yeah. of what your dad told yes, you. Yes, that is my training, and I don't go away from my training. I love that. Life as a pilot, could you? How is it like? Where did you train? I trained in America, Florida, mm. Daytona Beach. The school is called Phoenix East Aviation. I mean, at the age of 19, I was a commercial pilot with instrument rating. Why are you not flying planes? Why are you not working with any yeah, airline? My father told me that if I do that, that means... Oh, let me tell you the exact thing he said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did you go for that training? So I did that because we have the intention of branching into aviation ah, past, so as part of the R&D, the research and development, development here mm. at the Kantanka CIA Institute. So it's part of it. And as we speak now, we are almost in the final stages of trying to do something. So you are getting into aviation as well? Yeah. We were, I'm going to go into aviation as a business and also as part of the research as well. You own, you're owning your own airline? Definitely, very soon. Very soon. Yeah. Let's talk about the automobile industry and uh, you carving a niche for yourself now with the range of cars that you have. Tell us about the, you know, the range. What, what, what brands do you have in okay. what category? And maybe exclusively tell us about some of the prices as well. Because we believe that we should patronize made in Ghana products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So initially, the plant was set up for a pickup and an SUV um, plant. We have the pickup, the mama, we have the SUV, which is the Onanti 4. We have the sedans, the one that the finance minister right. and Peter Mewu uses, mm -hmm. the Kantanka Mensa. We have the Kantanka Monima, that is in two types. We have the normal combustion engine and we have the EV as well. And we have the K71. It, that's the pickup, right? The K71 is the little, little one. Little, oh, yeah. right, right. Because I'm thinking that by now we should have GPRTU, we should have you know, the transport companies patronize your cars. I mean, that would what be... What is happening to your we, vehicles? Are we not doing aggressive marketing? Are Ghanaians not patronizing? How's the market for Kantanka? So, you know, it's a family-owned business. There is no kind of funding from anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I believe in doing, like, steady growth for the company. So what I do is, if I do a lot of advertisement, what is going to happen is... You cannot meet demand. I cannot meet demand. Ah. 
So what I'm doing is I have decided to do, let's say, 1,000 to 1,500 every year for a start. Mm. And now, after getting this um, government uh, deal from yes. um, NIA, NIA, NHIS, mm -hmm. Forestry. Oh, so we're not going to supply the Forestry Commission. We have a lot. We have, NIA. A, lot. We have a lot of, um, we have even with this, these, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, this mini, uh, the M power M MDCs. assembly, the MDCs, mm -hmm. yeah. We have a few of them using our vehicles. How many of your vehicles are out there and running and what are people saying? Ooh, I mean, we have more than 500 to 600 vehicles in town. Impressive. Yeah. And the, the good thing is they are scattered all over the country, some are in the northern region, and people are amazed. Now, the confidence mm. is, I mean, gradually building up. Oh. And people come in and choose Kantanka over other vehicles. So are you telling me that people will choose a Kantanka vehicle, maybe an EV or, or 94 or a Mensa over, you know, other European cars mm, or, or consumers? Cars? I mean, mm. different consumers have different kinds of taste. Those who want to go in for, just imagine uh, the Kantanka Omama pickup, for instance. You cannot compare it to a certain Japanese uh, brand vehicle. The reason is, I mean, they made those vehicles out there. I live here. Mm. I know how, how bad our roads are. I know at times even the tropical condition or the condition or the atmospheric um, climate of the country even determines how your vehicle even performs. Is it assembled wholly in Ghana? Yeah, it is. It is? It is, yeah. And we think that we have the technological know-how we, we have do. the ability we to do. actually do that we do yeah are we, we not do. running into any problems what are people telling you the all. feedback like not you know my father did the research into this automobile mm. industry for more than 10 years before i came in to commercialize right the whole thing so we know what we are doing and katanka automobile is into two different departments we have the handmade section mm. and we have the assembled section as well so far the reception of Ghanaians. what what are you picking up what are people telling you Ghanaians individuals have actually patronized the sales of the vehicle more than even government has. Corporate bodies. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Well, in, in, in all of that, we'd like to say congratulations. And Thank I think you. that, like you said, it's a steady growth. Yeah. And you are getting there. We are. As busy as you are, do you have time to unwind? Do you really make time for yourself? I was speaking to your PA and she was telling me that, you know, <laughs> you work like a bulldozer. You are up, you're running, <laughs> out and about. Kojo is always on the move. You get time to unwind, Kojo. Ha, huh. unwind. Yeah. When was the last time you saw me unwind? <laughs> <laughs> You're my friend. Exactly. That's what, that's what I'm asking. So, um, how, how do you relax then? About four months ago, mm. that was when I understood that every human body has limits. Mm. I actually mm. broke down. You broke down? Yeah. Literally? Literally. I couldn't walk for about three months. You couldn't walk? Yeah, and when they... What, what, was, what, what was the issue? What was the cause? Stress. Wow. Yeah, it was that bad. What, it, it nearly resulted in stroke or what? Almost. Almost? Yeah. For three months, you couldn't For three walk. good months, I couldn't... I was home, so I had to change my schedules. Hmm. My chief of staff and the team all sat down, and they took Mondays Off. out of my schedules. But before they realized, Mondays, I was back at work, and I broke down again. So I had to change the schedules and okay, I'll be home from mornings to let's say twelve, and I'll go to the office from one to six or seven. Good PM. decision. Good yeah. decision. So do you now make time for yourself? I do. I do. And one of the things that helps me unwind are the kids. The kids. Interested. Yeah. Any favorite holiday destination? Everybody knows where Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. What is it about Dubai? People Ooh. say, well, is is that so flashy? I I don't it's, know, but. Hmm. The moment I land in Dubai, it's as if my head is left in Accra and my body goes, goes to Dubai. It's, it's, it's a very good relaxation place for me. Wow. Very, very good relaxation. So any day, any time, it will be Dubai. Any day, any time. You spend a lot of time in, 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 in America, US of A, but yeah. you, you, you don't fancy that place to be no. a, a favorite holiday no. destination. Now I, I want to try Paris. Harry, okay. And, and Monaco as well. Wow. And see how... Those are for the big boys. Yeah. Well, I'm a big boy. <laughs> I mean, if there if are big boys, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the biggest boy. Oh, really? You're yeah, the biggest boy? I'm the biggest and, boy. I, I would love that. So, we'll go through your car collection and all of that. Mm. Which, are, which one is your favorite? How many cars do you own now, Kojo? Truthfully, yeah. I have an old and new section. 
Oh, you have an old section for yeah. the cars. Yeah. Are we talking about vintage cars? No, no, no. Normal, like. So when you say old, you see them it. probably. I mean, I have a section where I keep my old and security. When you say old, and, how many years in context are you? Are maybe you up to 20? 2010, 11, 12. Oh, so you consider those to be old cars? From they are old cars. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Old cars. But my favorite. When money talks. Amongst all the vehicles mm -hmm. is my Kantanka pickup. Kantanka pickup. Your mama, I have specced it. Okay. If that's to speak now. How many cars do you own? Truthfully, I can't count. You can't count your cars. I'm being very honest. So you don't know the number of cars you some have. Some are not even parked here. <laughs> money sweet. Some are not even. Some are not, are not even parked here. I'm being very honest. More than twenty. Hmm. I can't. I can't count. Wow. I. It's me. For me, mm. it's watches and cars. Watches and cars. Yeah. The most expensive watch that you own. I can see that you have a. Uh, 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 you know, a top, yes, yes, a top Rolex, you know, on. I don't know whether that's the data. Which, which one is this? This is one is, I mean, what is this one? Is know. it a I day just? I think it's a day just that you have on. Yeah. Yes, but it sets you back like how much? This is not as expensive as the others. This is just 45,000 pounds. 45,000 pounds? Yeah. The most expensive watch that you own is how much? Hmm. When I say it, mm. no, but you can't say it. You, my, you work hard for my it. My father give me a call. No, no, but of course you work hard for it. I think so. 150,000 pounds or so. Yeah. 150,000 pounds. Yeah. Watch. So you put it on every day. How does that make you feel? Normal. Really? Because I want to buy the three millions and the one million. You know, so <laughs> I feel I'm not there yet. Nanako Josephu. It's been great having you on review. Thank you but so you, much. This is your camera. We want you to look into the camera and also inspire the youth out there. At 36, with what you've done, clearly, God is in your life. Yes. And, and I love your humility, you know, your, 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 your ability to bring all and help people. I mean, I was amazed the number of people I saw, Down you know, there. waiting to be, you know, to see, me, to you, see know. you. Yeah. And I, I think that you're a man with a big heart. So for the youth out there watching us all over the world, what is your message for them? I mean, I, I, I tell people that normally if you're starting life and um, being born in this part of the world, you need to know that, I mean, you're already starting from a negative. So you don't add more minuses to your life. I mean, if you're starting life and you don't have a father or you, you don't have a very good background that is going to support you, love, relationships, you should wait a bit before you get into these things. And peer pressures, I mean, don't go on the internet and look at things that are going to make your heart beat take it a step at a time i mean spend more money into investing into yourself spend more money investing into your own business and try and always i mean the 9 a.m to 5 p.m work is not what is going to make you a millionaire whatever i have this saying that what you make or the strength you put into work that gives you money it's not that money that was going to make you rich mm -hmm. but what the money that is going to make you rich is what you use your brains to produce that is what will make you money or that's all or that is what is going to give you sustainable um a life could you you have arrived thank you bola thank you for this exclusive thank interview you. on revealed and we thank wish you, you the very best we know that the next year is just going to be you the you stars know. are starting point of course it's been another interesting edition of revealed well before we go we're checking out his car collection right here on revealed with me bola ray we'll be right back Beautiful home, like I said, and I can see the Okufo right here. Okufo, yeah. Tell us about this vehicle. Uh, so this is, I mean, we, we had a year that very bad year where yeah. armed robbers mm. attacked bullion vans and no. And in security, I believe the most important thing is to the safety of the security personnel. Right. The, the safety of the one protecting your money or your life. So this is, uh, I mean, this can serve as a, it's, it's a multi-purpose vehicle. It can serve as a bullion van, All it right. can serve as a riot control van, it can serve as a security vehicle, as a combat vehicle. So, so it was your response to the attack on bullion vans that you actually had to come out with this, right? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Something like this will set us back how much? I mean, how much will this cost? So that the financial institutions out there, people who are thinking of gas safety. I wish we could actually also do this for people who want, you know, their own safety going out, you know, and yeah, I mean, we are going to commercialize okay. these cars. How that, much will this be? That is not going to have the top 
mm. thing on it. There. Right. I mean, this will go from ninety to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Can we check out what's of course, in there? Of course. Of right. course. Of course. I mean, everything you see here is being built to deflect mm. uh, any kind of. Um, oh, I love the interior. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the interior is the more reason why we intend to go more commercial and I mean mm -hmm. there'll be people I mean people used to buy hammer that's right hammer was a military yeah, vehicle, vehicle that was yes. converted later on to sure. commercial vehicle so sure. that is what and these are all bulletproof oh bulletproof as you can touch it I mean have a feel feel it whoa yeah and whoa. feel the front glass as well so everywhere is highly protected mm. Mm, mm. Right. And tested so as well. This is the oh, oh tested. It's tested, yeah. So somebody can fire into it and you can guarantee that nothing is gonna happen to you. It's safe. Yeah. Interesting. And it's this safe. is the EV. This is the EV. This wow. is the Kantanka so cute. EV. Yeah. Tell us about the EV. So this one was actually the Kantanka K71. Okay. That I felt okay. Um let me just take the whole engine out mm -hmm. and replace them with electric batteries and so motors. this is an electric vehicle. It's an electric vehicle, yeah. Wow, wow. This will actually do well in Europe. Where it, will. Actually, yes. it will. And now this look at our, our fuel prices as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have these in town as taxis. Right. And with electric vehicles, you don't have a problem with maintenance or going to the shop or mm -hmm. all that. No noise as well. Wow. Green. We're talking green now. Yeah, green we're talking economy. green now, yeah. Wow. This is great. So this is the EV. The this is the EV. EV, yeah. Wow. Interesting. I love the interior. And then Thank next you. to it will be That's what? the Kantanka Mensa. Mm. That's the Kantanka Mensa. Mensa is what? Is it a 2.0, 1.4? 2.4. 2 2.4. 2.4 engine capacity. And okay. it's gasoline. Oh, right. Gasoline as well. Wow. That's the Kantanka Mensa. I think I should, I should come for a Mensa. You should. I should. Yeah? You should, yeah. I think <laughs> you should. And then right there we have... That's a sports vehicle. Okay. It was built for one thing. If Which you look is, at the aerodynamic shape of the vehicle, mm. look at the way the base is and all, it was built for nothing than speed. This is Whoa. a speed vehicle. Can we see you drive this on your compound to actually see how it moves and all of that? Certainly it has to be in motion for us to appreciate. Yeah, Which of these there. cars do you want to drive? I mean, I can drive the no, Okufo. Okufo. If, if I can <laughs> run into your car, that's fine. <laughs> I, w I wish I had a, a shotgun here or a Mosbeck to actually put it to test. To see if it's really bulletproof. It is. I can get you a gun right now if you don't. <laughs> then you sit in and I'll fire you. Ah, oh, really? Oh, no. You are the manufacturer. <laughs>
I want to have about so before forty. You're forty gonna, when I'm forty. You want to have forty houses when you're when 40. I'm forty. Yeah. Currently, you have how many? I'm close. <laughs> You're 36 now, so that's I'm 36, so you should you're, imagine... You're left, you're left with four to go. No, about, maybe about 15 more to go. 15 more to yeah. go. So you want to have 40 homes... When I'm 40. When you're 40. Yeah. Huge achievement. Kojo Safo. Thank you, Bula. Junior, thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's been an awesome afternoon with you. Any day, any day, any time. Thank you. Have a good time. All right. Cheers.